deep in the jungle of Panama lies an island full of mysteries. For almost a hundred years, it's been cut off from the mainland, and in that time, ingenious creatures have made it their home. And we're not just talking about the animals. Each night, a group of women gather, using near magical methods to uncover the secrets of the night. They study strange potions. Urine and ejaculate and spit, which sounds pretty awful, but actually it, it doesn't smell, doesn't smell too bad. Hang bats from washing lines and search for vampires. It looks like munch crunch, that it's a very delicious piece of dinner tonight. <laughs> they seek knowledge only darkness can reveal. They are the Batwomen of Panama. No, well, actually, it's not that sinister. In Panama's canal, you'll find Barro, Colorado Island, a place dedicated to studying tropical forests. It's tiny. You could fit 10 in Washington, D.C., but it has twice the mammal species of Britain and more kinds of bats than the whole of Europe. It also seems to have more scientists than anywhere on Earth. 900 come here each year, among them the bat women. When I came here for the first time, I was simply overwhelmed. I had never been for such a long period of time in a tropical rainforest. And it was, for me, it was a magical world. Magical, but no fairy tale. They suffer sleepless nights in tick-infested forests, although masking tape stops the little suckers. They use video technology, climbing skills, even the odd bow and arrow. It's action all the way for the bad women. Mist nets catch bats without harming them, even high in the trees. The rewards are great. At night, they can study the catch. The scientists record the bat's vital stats, hanging them up to keep them calm. And with 72 species, there's always something to get excited about. Hey! Hey, look at this! It's the biggest and rarest bat on the island, the false vampire. Catching 